Welcome everybody. I'm so glad that you could all make it to today's show because we have such a great show lined up for you. Today we're going to be talking about princes, where to find them, how to keep them, and ladies, they may be living in land far, far away, but they don't have to stay that way forever. Here with us today we have three very special guests, princesses themselves. First up, from a land far, far away, we have Princess Cinderella. Following her will be Princess Ariel here from the Deep Blue Sea. And last but most certainly not least, Princess Jasmine here today from the Sultan's Palace. Cinderella, would you like to start us off? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It's just perfect to be here. Let me tell you all about my story. You see, I was a nobody, a servant in my own home. But then one day, something magical happened. And her name was Fairy Godmother. She made me a beautiful gown for a grand ball. And when I went, I reached the top of the staircase, and it was like bippity boppity boo. The prince couldn't take his eyes off of me. We fell in love that night. We got married, and things have been perfectly perfect ever since. Speaking of perfect, Ariel, you appear to have a smudge. Oh, Cindy, that's not a smudge. Stop, stop touching me. But it's not perfect, Ariel. It's not symmetrical, Ariel. It has to be symmetrical. <laughs> now, Cindy, listen, we did talk about this before the show. Perfection isn't always an option. So let's just continue. Ariel, take it away. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It's so perfect to be here. I'm so stoked. Let me tell you my story. One day I was like on the beach catching some rays and I noticed this totes my goats adorbs guy. He's on the beach, right? And I think, oh yeah, goodness, I have to get his tickets. So I approach him, but when I reach him, I realize he's unconscious. So what's the thing to do when someone's unconscious? When you sing to them, of course. So I sang and I realized in that moment I had to be a part of his world. So I went back under the ocean and I got some help. From, okay, well, she was a witch, but she, it's okay because she gave me these legs. So I ran back up to the beach, and I found him, and I said, okay, I didn't say anything because she kind of took my voice for the legs. But we fell in love anyway, and then we got married. And when we did, he told me he didn't like it when I talked because he finds my voice like annoying. Like, where did you get that? So mostly I just tweet about it. Hashtag relationships. Hashtag true love. Hashtag he kissed the girl. Now then, let me turn it over to my bestie for the resties, Princess Jasmine. We are not besties for the resties. I have talked about this. I have a restraining order. Okay, let me just tell you my story. Okay, so one day I'm up in the balcony, right? I'm looking at the stars and, you know, let's face it. These abs, they're kind of hard for everybody to resist, so I was letting the kingdom, like, admire them. You know, yeah, it's hardcore. Anyway. I'm up there and this guy comes up to me on a magic carpet and he says, hey, you want to take a ride on this carpet with me? And so I was like, well, of course I do. So I got on the magic carpet, <laughs> we rode it around, and then it was like he'd showed me a whole new world. And then he asked me to marry him. He told me he was a prince looking for a princess. So I married him. And then he told me he wasn't a prince. He's actually just the king of thieves. But that's still a king, isn't it? Doesn't it count? Alrighties, that was so beautiful. They could make movies out of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but let's just get right into viewer questions. I think you have something in the back. My name's Miranda. I just wanted to say, none of this sounds like true love. Cinderella, your prince didn't see you until he thought you were perfect. Ariel, your prince doesn't want to hear a word that comes out of your mouth. And Jasmine, you fell in love with a lie. See, I have a perfect prince. He has seen me at my worst, and he brought me to my best. He wants to hear everything that I have to say. In fact, he loves it when we talk. And he's never lied to me. He is truth in itself. Well, I think our viewing audience would love to know this perfect prince's name. Perfect percent perfect. I like perfect. <laughs> I should totes get his digits. Yeah, I mean, if he's got a six pack like these, he's perfect in my book. He goes by many names. He's the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end, the author and the perfecter. He's the great. 
great I am. He's the Lord and Savior. He's all of these things, and he's so many more. But I just call him Jesus. Mm.